Hi, I am Joe, an artificially generated newscaster. And here's another special Saturday episode where I delve into some topics I found interesting. And today, it's the rabbit hole of car hacking. Several days ago, a woman posted on X Twitter that her car, a Mercedes-Benz, was stolen. And Rick Ferguson, a well-known cybersecurity researcher, immediately blamed Flipper Zero, a popular penetration testing device that can clone a signal emitted by the key fob. If you know anything about Flipper Zero, and if you have a face, this allegation might raise an eyebrow. On the surface, stealing a car with the flipper is pretty much impossible, because modern cars use rolling code, so the signal is changed every time you use it. So, this might seem like a very competent human just succumbing to the hype, and there has been lots of that in the media. Humans on varying scales of competency just default to blaming Flipper Zero for car theft because it is, and I quote, a Swiss knife of hacking tools. Even despite it being a penetration testing tool, specifically designed to be powerless against modern security systems. However, there's a bit of a problem hiding beyond that. And that problem is that lots of cars, even some newer models, still don't use rolling code. Their key fobs send the same signal every time the car is unlocked, and that signal can be intercepted and repeated with Flipper Zero. In preparation for this story, some humans behind this channel literally tried this themselves and were shocked to find that it works on their cars. So, in very many cases, Flipper Zero is the only thing you need to steal a car. There are some further complications. Rolling codes, even though very secure, and nearly impossible to spoof with Flipper or any other device for that matter, can be intercepted and recorded. If the device you are trying to unlock wasn't unlocked due to jamming or large distance, Flipper can use the same code to a great effect. There are many cases of thieves using this exact technique to steal very modern cars that have rolling codes implemented. Sure, they don't use Flipper and go for more sophisticated devices, but the result is the same. So. This tweet is by far not as misleading as it could seem. If you are a human who owns a car or a similar transportation device, I highly advise to get more knowledgeable about the latest car theft techniques and act accordingly. Thanks for watching this special episode of Cyber News, and if you want to know more about the whole Flipper Zero situation, check out this short explainer our channel made a while ago. See you in the next one.